Boston Dynamics has a new, new robot? Welcome back to Deaton Street. I'm Dustin, and he's Zach. And today we're talking about Boston Dynamics' new, new robot. But first, if you could, head down below the video, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment, let us know what you think about it. Uh, you know, hopefully you watch it all the way to the end. That'd be awesome. Uh, we just hit 100 subs as of last weekend, uh, which is awesome. And we're still pretty hyped about that. Uh, so thank you. Thank you for all the views and the support. Uh, good or bad, doesn't matter. We love it. It's fun. Uh, so Boston Dynamics has a new, new robot, right? So Zach, tell me a little bit about it. So last week, Boston Dynamics announced the new Atlas robot, which replaces the old Atlas robot. Um, and so the difference in the two, or the reason that this is the new robot, is uh, this one's fully electric. It's supposed to be stronger than the old one, and it no longer uses the hydraulic system that the old one used, which means that it can get up uh, from a prone position, which is kind of what the whole internet was freaking out about, like the way that it does mm -hmm. that. So as you can see, it, it, it's kind of freaky. I don't think it's that, that weird, um, but... It, Got me thinking when I saw that and when I, I, you know, we've seen Boston Dynamics for so long, and these weird robots that they come out with, like, what is the purpose of this? And so we did a little digging and Dustin, I think you know, like what this is kind of used for. Yeah. So a lot of these robots, uh, specifically like the Atlas robot is used for like dangerous, like search and rescue situations. So like, let's say if. Uh, an 18 wheeler of some dangerous chemicals would have toppled over and there is like toxic you know, fumes in the air, they can send one of the robots in there to, you know, maybe get samples or to try and uh, probably not plug up the hole uh, or like they can do um, rotate hoses like and stuff like that, open doors, closed doors, like they, there's a bunch of functionality there, uh, but it's mainly for that. So, and, and one thing that I thought of too, being that it's all electric, it might be better than the partly hydraulic one, because if, um, and I mean, this might uh, be a problem with the electric one too, but like a hydraulic hose might bust on one of the old atlases or something right. along those lines. It could cause, uh, depending on what hydraulics they're using, whether it's like compressed air or water or however they're doing it, I didn't do that much research. But like in my mind, if like it's mixing with toxic chemicals, you don't know what can happen. Yeah. So like an all electric version seems a, a bit more efficient, you know. Less stuff to go wrong potentially for in yeah. those situations. Yeah, for um, sure. Yeah, I think that's super cool. And that's one of the things that this podcast has taught me is that behind all of these weird videos, behind all of this tech, there's innovation and a lot of the times the innovation is for really pure reasons, right? Like it's easy mm -hmm. to make fun of like, you know, I think they have like spot or whatever, like the dog yeah. thing. It's easy to make fun of this and like the weird thing, weird, weird way that it um, <laughs> stands up from a prone position. But at the end of the day, it's cool to see tech that is meant to save lives and to get humans, you know, my brother's studying to be an EMS and firefighter to yeah. get humans out of potentially dangerous situations. I mean, in the future, if we keep progressing this way, we could see an all firefighter team of these type of robots, which would yeah. eliminate the need for an actual human to go in and risk their lives, which I think is super cool. Yeah. Cause I mean, you could, you could build out those robots to be fire retardant and to sure. go into the oxygenless building of, you know, that's burning down. Of course, you'd have to navigate around the possible falling to stuff. That's one thing. But yeah. with the way that it can contort its body, uh, you know, I it might be able to get around that stuff. So <laughs> we, we keep... We, we showed the video. We keep bringing that up. <laughs> what are your thoughts? Like, I saw it and, like, I see that everyone's freaking out. I don't think it's that weird. I, I 
It's not human-like, but it's a robot. Yeah. Of course it's not going to be human-like. It's going to do it in a more... Uh, robot I guess, way? robot or a more efficient <laughs> way than humans get yeah. up. I mean, one of the things that uh, we've talked about off-air was, you know, sometimes, I'm in my 30s, getting out of bed, I kind of wish I could contort <laughs> and do the exorcist thing because yeah. like, my body doesn't want to agree with me and do the role. Um, so, I mean, wh what do you think about that? Did it freak you out as much as everyone else? Uh, I mean, it was definitely weird. I get why everybody's freaking out about it because like you said, it's not human like, you know, <laughs> like people can't like grasp the concept of like, oh, this thing is just a robot. So it's going to have joints that twist and turn different ways and it's going to work more efficiently. But like just to see something in a humanoid form flip around like that and twist its torso and then twist its head around, like it's, it's a little... It's a little weird, you know. Do you, do you think they did the head thing on purpose? Like that was like the icing on the the freaky cake, because oh, I was cool, it was be. cool, it was cool. And then the end of it, when it when it flips its little Pixar head, I was like, ooh, uh -huh. that, that that part's a little creepy pasta. Hello, everyone. I'm here to <laughs> yeah. smash down the Pixar eye. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, that that could be the face of the robot that's saving you from a burning building. So, you know, it needs the, to be able to look all the way around. It needs to have just <laughs> two dots in a smile. Like, that's all. That, yeah. I'm here to save you. And it's like, <laughs> psh. Yeah. Oh, that would, yeah. That would be, I'd be like, I don't, I think I'm good. I think I'm good to oh, die yeah. now. <laughs> just go ahead and leave me here, freaky exorcist hey. looking robot. Go to the other one, the other guy down the way. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> proof of concept trapped. first. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. the other thing too is I've seen, it's like people are like, oh yeah, it looks like the Pixar lamp. It looks like the Pixar lamp. Uh, we did a little bit of research. It's supposed to look like the Pixar lamp. So that yeah. was actually like a design choice inspired by the the lamp. Um, I think maybe they should change the the Pixar opening animation to – to the, to to the that new. thing walking out, but its <laughs> body and torso like twisting as it's walking. Like, yeah, if, if, if Pixar ever does like a horror movie, maybe. Oh my god! Just have its like head going around looking. That'd be terrible. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a it's a different it's a different look, uh, but it it has great application for sure. Yeah, um, I'd imagine that it is because I think the the Robo Dog. Um, there were consumers that had gotten that. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it was like tens of thousands of dollars. Oh, so, like, yeah, not your yeah. average person was going to get one. Uh, but you had a few of like your huge name YouTubers uh, that got one just to you know to have as a as a content machine. Uh, but like the 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 application for the Atlas stuff is just really cool. How it's like supposed to be a rescue type situation right uh you know it's neat and i think that's where the uh, i think that's where like we should focus our energy in this space like mm -hmm. we've seen a lot of like ai robots coming out that are identifying apples and putting trash in trash cans oh yeah there's a lot of r d there's a lot of investment that's going into that um yeah. and I, I think that we got that covered though i think i can put my own trash in my trash can uh yeah. show me the robots like this that are designed yeah. to to help in dangerous situations so yeah. uh I, I i i say that i i know that's what they're designed for i haven't seen like them out in the wild but i imagine that's you know cost prohibitive and that'll be part of mm -hmm. it down the line is figuring out how to make them for cheaper so that they are a little bit more expendable in those situations yeah. right yeah, because I'd imagine they'd have those that are like your uh, public safety grade, but yeah. then you might have like the butler version or the you know the maid version, <laughs> sure. like your housekeeper yeah. version type deal. Uh, that's it. It'll be interesting hey. whenever, it, whenever we end up like iRobot. Hey, you know, ha housekeeper to, that can save you from a house fire. I mean, that's that's a pretty sweet deal. Sign We're me this up. close to the Jetsons, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like first step into the Jetsons. Right around the corner, man. Yeah. Well, let us know what you think. Um, is it creepy pasta? Uh, are you, you know, excited about the tech? What do you think about like the switches from the hydraulic system to the electric system? Uh, mm -hmm. Let us know in the comments below. And if you have a topic that you've seen that you want us to cover, let Ooh, us know. We might, uh, we might jump in there and, in there and do it. So yeah. uh, until next time, peace. See ya.